A common question that we get in the crystalline temple of the sacred flames is, how does one use positive affirmations effectively? Sometimes using positive affirmations can feel like you're faking it till you make it, whereas it is much more powerful to use positive affirmations as you feel it and become it, and as you give yourself permission to feel it and become it, it then alchemizes itself into your state of being. So there's no this positive affirmation that's outside of yourself that you're trying to force and stuff into your body, your consciousness, and your soul, and forcing yourself or faking it into this state of being. But it is a state that has more opening, like a flower willing to receive the sunshine, willing to receive the rain, willing to receive the minerals from the nutrients, instead of saying, I see this flower and I want to be like this flower. It comes from innate. It comes from within you. This is how the affirmation can become a part of your state of being. So the first thing that we can do to make this state of being a state of who we are in every single moment of our consciousness is to create the affirmation that is aligned to your value. So the affirmation that you receive from external world, you must take a moment to digest it and alchemize it so that it aligns with your current value. It must align to your heart for it to bring alignment into your life. For example, there are sometimes some people out there to say, I am this light worker that makes millions of dollars. But why? What is the purpose? If that affirmation does not align with your heart, then it will feel empty and hollow. And no matter how many you, times you repeat it and you chant it, it will feel like walking on a treadmill and going nowhere at the same time. Whereas if you take a moment to take in the affirmation and really reflect upon of why do I want this money? Is it because of what people tell me this means success as a light worker? Or is it because I want this amount of abundance because it has to do with my mission? I want to create a pay it forward program. I want to create a sacred space. I want to use this resource to empower more light workers. So the affirmation itself has to be tethered to your heart and your soul, or it would be empty words. The second thing about positive affirmation is it should be something that you're allowing yourself to dip your toe in it. So for example, if you are wanting to manifest a relationship, going from a very wounded space, fear about being in a relationship to affirm affirming to yourself, I am in a loving relationship, can sometimes elicit and trigger even more sadness or feelings in it. Because in one way, it's almost like you're lying to yourself, you're lying to your body, and the body knows that. So how do we become more authentic and honest with our body is you can add the words such as I'm open, I'm curious, I am allowing. So having these words, I am allowing the energy of sacred union to be in my body. I am open to experiencing what it's like to have sacred union in my body. I am giving myself permission to open to the possibility of having a sacred union in my life. So you notice using these type of opening words allow the body to disarm the fears and the ego limitations. The ego then says, oh, okay, we can work with that. We can work with this opening and possibility. Supposed to the ego saying, Red alert, red alert, this doesn't make sense. This is something we tried in the past and it didn't work. The ego can then start to work with you. And in the temple, we talk a lot about coherence and harmony. When we want to create this harmony within ourselves, we need to create it from a space where we are allowing, accepting, and acknowledging all parts of ourselves. 
So using affirmation in this way, acknowledge and honor the pain within you, but at the same time, it's like holding hands with that pain and holding it alongside with the light version of yourself to say, light and shadow, human and soul, we are one. We can be in coherence. And through this state of being, it makes this affirmation much more powerful to use. This is the channel message from the Crystalline Temple of the Sacred Flames today. My name is Tiffany Tin, your High Priestess of Light. We hope that this message and the frequency and light that it brings forth radiates and brighten your light even more. Join us in this channel for more free temple teachings, workshops, and activations. And for those of you that are looking for more, join us in our initiations and our sacred spaces by clicking the links below. It has been my honor to be of service to you today. Go out there, shine your light.